guys. Happy Halloween. Ooh. Um, happy Samhain to, to my pagan friends out there. So what we're going to be doing uh, today is we're going with the Halloween theme, hence why I am a mouse. It might be a little bit difficult for me to read with my little mouse mask on, but I do love it. And I only get to wear it once a year, so today is the day. So we're going with the theme, we're going with the, the energy that naturally happens at this time of year when the divide between our world and the next becomes very, very small. So we're going to do why are they ghosting you? So this is going to be our deck number one and this is going to be our deck number two. Now I've gone for two more mysterious kind of decks. So this one is your modern witch tarot, obviously Halloween, and this is uh, everyday witch. So we're going with a witch theme but a cat mask, number one and number two. So think about you, think about your person, go where your heart energy is pulling you and we're going to go into why they are ghosting you, why they are ignoring you, what's really going on. I'm going to try really hard to read with a cat mask on. Okay, let's go. So, let's hope I can see properly. Let's go into deck number one's energy. I wonder if I do it a bit further away, if I can see a bit better. Uh, okay, that did not work. Deck number one. Let's try that again. That was not, that was not the best effort I've done. <laughs> okay, deck number one's energy. Can you get me into their energy? So why are they ignoring you? Why are they ghosting you? What's going on in their pretty little minds? Think about you. Think about your person now. Please, can we get into the collective energy of their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? As you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, so if anything doesn't resonate, remember it for a later day. All videos are timeless because that's how psychics work. Uh, we have to dip into the past, the present, and the future that's how we work so time is non-existent to us so they are timeless readings apart from the fact it's halloween but that makes no difference when you watch it okay can you tell me why people are that are picked at number one why is that person ghosting them why are they ignoring them it's a good way to start on halloween the devil why are they ignoring them three how many do you want Five, six. I love this deck because it's um it's modern, so it's not um it works with um this mobile phones and things in it, it's cool. Okay, here we go. So why they are ignoring you. Now some of you guys have had a bit of an issue, some of you guys have had an argument. Uh, basically, regardless of what your individual circumstances are, you know it works on the strongest mutual energy. Uh, a tower has happened. So this could be a big explosion between you all, between you and your people. This could be that things haven't quite gone to plan um, and your person has completely backed away. This could be that your tower is hit because they haven't replied to you. So there's definitely a tower energy that is happening around you all at the moment. And you're feeling a little bit stuck. You're feeling a little bit confused. You're feeling as if things just aren't going the right direction and your person has just kind of backed away. Now the reasons for that, we have the devil over here. Now the devil is the dark side of the lovers so you have the lovers side of things which you think is all happy it's beautiful it's lovely sometimes it's third party i.e someone else um, and the devil is the kind of darker side of that so we've got this fear-based energy coming up with your people and um, they're concerned that you uh, want too much from them they're feeling quite chained to the situation at the moment and they're trying to break away from it a little bit and it's not really going to plan but that is what they're trying to do they're thinking no you know what this isn't quite what I expected it to be. I'm focusing on a fear-based energy, so I'm just going to kind of cut the link at this moment in time, cut the chain that's kind of holding us together, have this tower that you guys are happen it, ha having, um, and reflect on the situation. So your person has gone into this period of reflection. They're feeling very confused by the situation. Um, they know that they could choose love. They know that they could be with you. They know that things could work out between the two of you, but this serpent energy is kind of coming through. I just had a clairvoyant image of a snake, and it's like there is an element of deception happening in their own thought process to you, and again, this is because of the devil. They are chained to these fear-based energies surrounding you. Your tower has hit, your crown's come off kilt, you've gone a bit uh, uncentered, that's not a word not centered you you are not centered of the situation at this moment in time and you feel as if your person has just kind of put this big brick up and said no you know what i'm not doing it i'm not doing it anymore um 
but what's happening from their point of view is that they've got very, very confused. They're feeling like they're holding on to the dark side of the situation. Sometimes as well, uh, with the devil, this can be a kind of sexual fantasy thing going on. So it could be that they, you know, your people are still thinking about you and they are still thinking about you in a sexual way. But with the darker side of it, they don't quite understand why this energy is so intense with them. They can't quite work that out in their head. So they've gone into a bit of retreat mode. They've gone to think it all through and they've gone to kind of just saying, you know what? I just need a bit of time to think this situation over and that's what's leaving them feeling a bit confused they can see that you two could be together but they're looking at what's happening around them and at the moment they're trying to stay grounded and stay level-headed with it um, it won't last it won't last but they're in this quite fear-based energy at this moment in time um, so some of them have thought, right, you know what, I'll, I'm going to end the cycle with you, you guys watching, I'll end it. But they haven't realised that ending this cycle is not going to really happen because of this devil card. So at this moment in time, your person has backed away from the situation, ghosting you, ignoring you, um, because they're in this fear-based energy, thinking, no, you know what, it's done. But actually, with this chain that is still holding the two of you together, this cycle is not complete. Your person is just having a massive wobble about it all at the moment and getting themselves confused. Um, um, for those of you that your person is with someone else, it's kind of that energy as well. They are um, retreating from the situation. And I know I've spoken for third party readings about the stiletto and the slipper. Now your person is in, if you are a third party, your person is in the slipper based energy that they've gone back to the comfort blanket, the security um, and things like that. And they're looking towards you with this super shiny, beautiful stiletto. But this devil card is bringing the fears to the surface so they've gone to retreat to get back to the comfy slipper to feel in their little cave again and feel a little bit safer and um, but with the chain holding the two of you together it's not going to break okay so they're very burdened by the situation and um, it is playing through their mind they haven't just if you think in that they've just ghosted you and cut the whole situation off that isn't true it is going through their mind it is running through their thoughts yes they're trying to plead ignorant yes they're trying to pretend that there isn't a problem but they are struggling with it um they're also thinking things through about Christmas as well and thinking, you know, what do I do? I know Christmas is a bit of a far away because it's Halloween, but they're, they're thinking, well, you know, if we haven't spoke together at Christmas, maybe this is the time that I should communicate with them. So it's not completely over. They are just hiding away from stuff at the moment because they're in fear-based energy and the darker side of the lover's energy, which doesn't help you because you're having your tower, um, but that's where their energy currently is. We've got the Hanged Men and Five of Swords, so they are feeling a little bit stagnated at the moment. You're feeling that... Um, they are in control of the situation because they are the ones that have called the shots and that kind of is, was, is and was their plan, you know, they thought if I cut this situation out, I can move on with my life, I'm the one in control, I'm the one that's got the power, but what's happening is at the moment, whilst you're still spinning around their thoughts and they're still thinking about you, they haven't broke away from this, they are stuck, they don't know how to move it forward, um, and so they've let you down, they've let themselves down as well, um, and they don't really know how to backtrack from it. So again, at the moment they're not doing anything because they've got this fear-based energy, but this energy also is moving forward. So this, I'm a bit stagnant, I don't know what to do, but I actually feel like I am in control of the situation at the moment. From there, however, as we progress through time, as we do, um, you have the Page of Pentacles, you have the Star, and you have the Chariot. So what's going to happen here is your person is going to make this slow movement, I've got an itchy nose, that's not going to work, is it? Your person is going to make this slow movement towards you um, and make an offer in. So if you're thinking, oh, well, I'm never going to hear from them again, that is not true. And even if they blocked you, Spirit are saying that is not true either. There is this offer coming in as your collective mutual energy. They're going to realise that they want to be with you. The star card always reminds me of the kings going towards baby Jesus. And it took them a long time. You know, uh, Angel Gabriel come down, gave him a message and said, follow the star, get follow the star of David, get to baby Jesus. And it took them a long time to get there. You know, the Bible might say it was a short time, I'm not very biblical, but you know, it took them a time to get there. And um, so your person's going to come in with this offer and start following the star card towards you. And then you have the chariot, which is your long term objectives being met. You and your person want the same things. You want to be together. You want to handle things the right way. You want to try and merge your future with one another. But there's this fear based energy behind it all. And this fear based energy is why they've cut you 
out at the moment why they're ghosting you. Ooh, that's why it is. Um, but the offers are coming back in. Your, your outcome cards are really positive. So try not to overthink about it. Try not to overdwell on it. Just be, you know, take the time out that the two of you have to just focus on yourself. Um, if you're wondering how to do that, something that would really help you is, I always think books helped to put things into perspective. So there's uh, two really good books that I recommend. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but we work with the strongest mutual energy between you all and there is still a divine masculine and a divine feminine and you will know which one you land on. So men are from Mars, women are from Venus and fuck him, nice, sorry about my language, but it's in the book title. Fuck him, nice girls always finish single by Brian Knox. Um, two really good books that are gonna get you standing in your power based energy. So use the time that the two of you aren't in contact to get back into your power and this offer will come in but why it's happening why they're ignoring you this is the card the devil fears chained to um, the strong sexual desires not sure how they can break away from it and they're trying to cut you out at the moment but it won't last it's just creating this state of confusion and they're already thinking how can I be in touch with them how could I make it work? Is there a way we can communicate? I'll leave it a couple of months um, and then at Christmas I'll get in touch with them whilst this tower is happening. And again, if you've had an argument, it kind of follows suit. It's the same suit, you know? Um, they think, okay, I've broke the cycle, I've ended it, I've ghosted them, I've walked away, or even if they haven't told you that, you know, it, it's still the same. They're thinking, oh, well, it's come to a close. But that state of closing is gonna draw on these confusions. They're already thinking about you. They wanted to gain power over the situation. They wanted to gain control. They've got that now. But what will happen from that is that they'll get into this longing, yearning, missing, movement forward, following the path, long-term objectives being that. Whole fire. It's not, it's not all hope is lost. Okay? That's deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two. What are we on? 11.34. So happy Hall Halloween, happy Salwin to all of you out there, hence the mask. So what we're doing today is we're following suit and we are doing why are they ghosting you? Because it is Halloween. It's the day of the year when the veil between our world and the next becomes extremely thin. Um, and it's quite hard to, to shuffle the cards with a mask on, but I am a cat today. That is my plan. Okay. Right, let's think about your person. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Okay, and can you tell me, please, why is their person ghosting them? Okay, why are they ghosting them? It's so hard to say. I've got a proper look down, concentrate. Why are they ghosting them? Why are their people ghosting them? Why are the people's people's ghosting them? Why are they being ghosted? Those people that are watching, what's the collective energy on that? As always, you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of situations. You lot need to stop overthinking, okay? Because at the moment you're thinking your person is super, super happy. You manifest it. Don't, don't get manifesting. Okay, so where I'm going to go with this is I'm going to start uh, at the end goal and work backwards. Now, we have temperance. This is my least, anyone that knows me will know that this is my least favourite card in tarot. You can give me a tower, you can give me a death card, you can give me anything like that, but you give me temperance, I get really irritated. Reason for that is because temperance is always a card that means kind of not yet, not yet coming but not yet so your person will come back to you but it's just not yet what they're doing at the moment is they're trying to balance their communication and um, well lack of communication they're trying to balance their emotions they've gone to think things through they've had a bit of a panic um, and you guys are thinking, okay, they've gone happy, they're off getting on with their lives, everything's great for them and everything's shit for me. So I have to be drawn to temperance first because it's coming, but it's just not yet, all right? So don't panic, don't get your knickers in a twist, just relax a little bit with it. So 
your person is ignoring you because at the moment they are trying to work out their own mind they're trying to work out what direction they are meant to be going on they felt that you and them were a little bit on unstable territory a little bit ungrounded with the situation um, and they weren't really helping okay so they've just kind of turned their back on it and um, to work out their own mind to work out what they want now you're feeling that this they've been a bit underhanded that they've gone around the situation in a way that really hasn't helped um, and you're feeling like you were feeling the opposite you felt like the two of you were holding by a thread but you also felt like this tower was going to crumble at any moment in time now your person's kind of ghosted you from the situation so that the tower doesn't crumble okay they don't want to give you anything that's going to hurt you they don't want to upset you contrary to what you may believe um, and they've just kind of distance themselves from you without giving you any answers and the reason for that is because the door is open temperance the door is still open for you so that they can come back they've gone away to search their mind to find the inner callings of what's going on now like deck number one you have the devil card now the devil card i said this in deck number one is the dark side to the lovers um, there is a lot of fear-based energy going on here um, and it's almost as if the two of you were having these very negative thoughts about one another but not communicating them it was like there was a block in your communication and um, you were trying to say to them come on I'll, I'll throw you a bone I'll give you a little bit of something you can tell me how you're feeling and they didn't do it you know um, you would talk about things to a basic level but if you tried to get deep your person would back away and think oh my god I'm having a freak out I can't get this close and it's like these eruptions happened in their minds and they've just gone nope taking a step back from it all and um, they don't want to be tempted by the situation and they can see that you are a weakness to them okay so fear based energy coming through all of the reasons that we've said and you guys not communicating about it properly not your fault got to say it's more on your person's head not that I'm biased but it is it is more on your person's head this is their actions that have caused your reactions okay um, and your actions have caused their reactions which means that they kind of distance themselves and cut you off fear-based energy working out what they want now underneath it all you guys are thinking that they're dead happy um that isn't necessarily true okay they're just trying to move forward with their life um i just heard two uh ain't nothing but a good time who sang that was it a journey don't need nothing but a good time. Your person's in this escapism behaviour, okay? They don't need nothing but a good time. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to focus on themselves. Uh, there could be alcohol, drugs, sitting on game stations for hours and hours. You know the escapism behaviour we talk about. They're just trying to pretend that nothing's really happening, that they can just carry on moving forward with their life. But this devil card is pulling them back, okay? It will pull them back towards you. And with the two of cups, your person genuinely loves you. Now, they're not as happy as what you think they are. And if you're watching them on social media you'll be like well they're showing me that they're really happy they're doing that to kind of create a reaction with you to say you know what I can live without you I, I don't need you it will not last it will not work it's a complete sense of denial and that's why you're feeling that they've um, betrayed you that they've let you down and they've been a little bit sneaky about it now your person again they do love you and um, they're not all happy not all it's meant to be suns and roses they aren't like that but they're going to be pretending that that is how they are because they're trying to fool themselves at the moment that they don't actually need you um now there seems to be a few family issues going on as well so it could be not this isn't all of you but some of you guys there's issues with family and um, so maybe arranged marriages or um they're with someone else or there's family that are just being idiots and trying to interfere with the situation um, and the third party card over here as well so this is becoming an issue as well in their mind now that isn't all of you that but a lot of you because it's come out in your collective mutual energy family is becoming an issue um, and again they've withdrawn from you because they're trying to keep keep peace with everyone and they're forgetting how they feel about it all themselves okay um, and again if they are with someone else it's kind of the same thing they're trying to keep the peace at the moment and um, you don't really provide them much peace you kind of provide them more with this headache because they can't move forward but they're trying they're just pretending that everything's there's not a problem and um, so they've made this choice they weighed it up for a little while they balanced their emotions out they thought how's it going to happen what we're going to do um, and they threw this kind of blind dart and thought no you know what I'm just going to cut them out I've made the choice I made the decision and everything's going to be perfect because of that but this will not it won't it won't last now I didn't give a collective time in deck number one um, but your collective time of deck number two is not yet a temperance so you're probably looking about three 
maybe four, it's variant about four to five months as the majority of you. Okay, again, that's your strongest neutral timing. If you need to look at individual timings, we can do that on individual readings. Um, let them wonder, let them go. You know, if they have cut you out, uh, again, remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific. Don't go chasing them. Um, the egg does not chase the sperm, okay? Uh, <laughs> Never sexually orientated or gender specific, but the majority of you watching are divine females. Um, let them do the chasing, let them come back towards you, okay? They've said to you, or they haven't said to you, um, I'm just gonna have a bit of space, I'm gonna walk away, I'm gonna pretend that we never existed, um, I just got, I forgot you existed by Taylor Swift. They're gonna get into this false energy and pretend that everything is completely fine, I don't have to deal with it, um, I feel okay because I've, kind of just distanced myself from it. I don't need to text them back. So don't chase them, okay? Don't go beggy. Don't don't beggy. Don't get beggy. Um, let them work it out in their own head that they can't live without you. And then when they come back, you're gonna feel 10 times better. Manifest the outcome you want. So don't get into this fear-based energy. You don't step into this devil card either of this fear-based energy. Stand in your power, okay? Get into that um, energy of, right, I have gifts, I have abilities, I'm a divine feminine, I can manifest this moving forward. And um, you know, what you could say to the universe is, dear universe, what energy, space and consciousness can I be to expand infinite possibilities and opportunities with myself and bliss? So their name, okay? As if by magic and with total ease. Say it uh, three times a day until things start shifting back in your favor, but stop the negative mind frame on it. Just be like, okay, try and get your head into that space of, you know, okay, this is where we are. It's not where I want to be, but this is where I currently am. Now I'm going to get into my power. I'm going to spend the time that we're not in contact, focusing on myself, bringing myself forward, and I'm going to manifest them coming back towards me and manifest that contact with them. Your person is just having a wobble. Um, Spirit just said then as well, there's an element of jealousy. So that could either be on your person's part or your part, but there's definitely a bit of jelly belly going on. If that is on your, your guy's part, try not to feed that energy. Don't feed it and um, try to make whatever is making you jealous and if they're with someone else or they're focusing on family try to make that energy in your mind frame irrelevant okay because it's not about other people this situation is the way it is because of the two of you you're feeling sad because of your person okay if you feed an energy of a third party or someone else or family or you've just got this jealousy what they're up to who they're doing uh, who they're doing what's going what's going on um, <laughs> that was really naughty um then you're going to feed that energy, you're going to feed those fear-based energies. So try to cut that and just think, okay, it's irrelevant. I need to focus on me and them. Um, and at the moment, they're not giving me what I need. They're not giving me what I want. So I'm just going to cool the energy down. I'll go focus on myself. I'll manifest them back and they will come back to you when they are ready. But it's just a not yet. So focus on, on yourself, okay? Don't chase them. I said in deck number one, so really, you know, take the time to, to reflect on it, but you, get, try and read some books. It, it's a good idea to always read books that are going to help you get into that power, get into that queen or king of swords energy. Um, and again, not sexually orientated or gender specific and not repeating myself if you've watched that one in deck two. Um, but two really good books for you will be Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus by John Gray um, and... Fuck Kim, Nice Girls, Always Finish Single by Brian Knox. Sorry about my language, but it's the book title. Feet, take the time to reflect on it, okay? But those books like that, that'll get you standing in your power, rather than focusing on the divine, the twin flames, what spirits say, what the cards say, take the time now for that self-love process and books like that will help you stand in your power, gain your strength so that you can handle the situation better when they do come back, okay? And that's step number two. So, my loves, if you want to book a private reading, um, it's email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I'll put all the details in the description for you. Um, the website's in there as well, so if you want to look at what's going on. I also do teaching, which isn't on the website. So, if you're interested in any one-to-one -one mentoring with me, um, let me know. I'm me and Spirit. Well, we work with you individually to come up with what you want. Um, and we draw up your lesson plans, me and guides, and we talk you through it. And you can have one-to-one -one communication with me as well. Okay, guys, uh, take care, be good, have a fabulous Halloween, Halloween, um, lots of sweets, enjoy yourselves, okay, um, and have a happy Halloween, and I'll speak to you next week. Lots of love, bye.